there are five steps that you need to take you know, in order to successfully and effectively integrate ICT into your teaching and learning today. Step number one is to develop an appreciation of where the children are heading. So in order to do this, you need to set a pre-planned lesson where you can monitor all the ICT skills and techniques that you think, that you believe the, the students might already know. Record these and then plan appropriately for your other, for, um, for your other lesson so as to ensure learning progression. Step number two will be to plan and to seek to develop all components of ICT capability. ICT capability constitutes of five components. And one of these is just the one aspect that most teachers are already familiar with, the teaching of ICT skills and techniques. However, you do need to, comp to develop all components of ICT in meaningful subject related contexts. Step number three will be to embed ICT into meaningful purpose driven contexts. Now I know I've mentioned this before in the previous step. However, this is the whole crux of it. And understanding how to integrate ICT into teaching and learning means that you are on board with embedding it throughout the curriculum, throughout your curriculum. Integrating ICT into teaching and learning is an instructional choice that includes collaboration and deliberate planning. So you need to make instructional choices by creating ICT, ICT activities in your curriculum. Step number four would be to select ICT the appropriate ICT tools. And there are so many tools that are out there for you to choose from because the rate of technological development that, that arises in society is astronomical at times. Um, and this puts us as teachers under pressure to try things, to try things that, that, um, that it's already taking place in our lives, in society, and to, and to use that in the classroom. However, you need to know that not all ICT tools will actually develop ICT capability and will not constitute, therefore, as successfully integrating ICT in the, in the classroom. So what's the solution? I believe firstly, you just need to imagine the potential of the available technology for learning within the context that it will be taught. And this is something that we can all do. Secondly, you know, as I mentioned, not all RCT tools are out there to develop RCT capability. So you need to select the appropriate RCT tools. And these tools would include ones that are context free and content, sorry, content free um, and generic. They promote higher order thinking skills, giving students um, the ability to choose to make decisions on a high level. Um, and that challenges students intellectually. Most of these tools you already have in your own learning environment. Um, they involve the capability to know how students do all these things. So you just need to remember these attributes when you're selecting your tools. Step number five will be to practice formative assessment strategies throughout the year. Now already, if we go back to step number one, we already started to practice formative assessment strategies in the form of observation, observing and assessing students' um, capabilities. 
but this needs to be done throughout the year so that you can be assured that you are that the students are learning what you are teaching and that you can plan effectively for learning progression throughout the year so if you follow these steps then you are on the road to leading your students to 21st century skills that they can continue to build on in their lives past school. There are many ideas out there as to how to integrate ICT into teaching and learning, but sticking to these fundamentals is vital for your success as a teacher in a technology-rich learning environment. And remember that you set a good example to your colleagues in relation to integrating ICT in education, even if you have just one ICT tool at your disposal.